Hi, Foxy friends. This is Sarah from Foxy's Domestic Side, and today I am collabing with Vanessa. And today I am collabing with Vanessa Loves Makeup. She put out a, she put, she put out a request. She put out a request to do artistic makeup. Now you know me, and I am very square engineer like, and I typically do my makeup the exact same way every single time. So I thought this would be a fun collab to do and try to do something different with my makeup. I have a, a couple makeup palettes that have these bright blues. I just got this in my BoxyCharm last month and it came with these um, bright pinks and blues and then I have my um, and I have my Jacqueline Hill palette that has some purples and blues and greens in it. So I thought I would try and do a makeup look with those. I've kind of been practicing to see what would work and I tried the halo eye and that does not look good on mono lids. It just looked like I am a five year old and I splashed eyeshadow all over the place. So I'm gonna have to try and think of something different and something new and artistic. I was gonna try something with like a cut crease or something like that. So let's just see where this takes us. So as you can see, I've done my foundation already um, and I will do everything else with you guys. Let's get started. First, I am gonna start with some primer. I'm using this Shadow Insurance Primer right here. So we're gonna start with the eyeshadow primer and then I'm gonna put a base on it so that the eyeshadows will blend better. I'm gonna go with this Jaclyn Hill right here, this color right here. Now, what to do, what to do. I think I'm gonna do a transition color so that the pop of color that I do on my eyes is not gonna be so dramatic. I think I'm gonna do kind of just a brown color. I'm so lost, you guys are doing this with me. And I think I'm gonna do this kind of peachy shade right here. And this is my favorite blending brush right here. I think what I'm gonna do is try to go for like a mermaid type look. I guess that's what people are calling it. I don't even know what constitutes a mermaid look, but Whatever, we're gonna go for it. I'm going bright out of my comfort zone. I'm already there with this color. You know what? Some people, some, so I was trying to get ideas and I was looking at tutorials and some people use tape. I'm gonna go try and find some tape. I found some scotch tape and I'm gonna try that trick that I see people doing where they put the scotch tape on their for their cat eye, so let's try it here. Okay, let's continue. Good pink base now. Having a monolid sometimes is really hard. I think that's why I was having problems finding a tutorial that did any kind of mermaid eye with onolids because it's just so hard because you just have this blank canvas and nothing to do with it. So. Maybe I'll go in a little bit with this. I'm gonna use this purple color right here and see how it goes. I don't know. Now I'm gonna try this other technique where they put a base of concealer down to kind of help pat on the color that you want. So I'm gonna try that next. Um, I'm gonna use this brush right here. I'm gonna use my Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. Have some on my brush, and I'm gonna just go in here, because I wanna do a couple colors. So I think what I'm gonna do is a couple colors of bright colors, and we'll see how it goes, maybe two. So I wanna go in like this. One side to the other side. The question of the day is what color do I use? I think I'm gonna use the purple color. I'm gonna use my Smashbox water primer. I'm gonna get my brush wet. So this is a fresh brush. And I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill. I'm gonna go in with this purple color right here. Let's see how it goes. I didn't feel, when I was testing these looks out, I didn't feel like this color like had that much sparkle to it, but we will try. That's one 
one side. Whoa. And let's get some more of this on here. And the other side. That's purple. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna clean off this brush so I can use the other side. Okay, so now let's try doing that same concealer trick on the next level. I don't know what I'm doing, as you can clearly tell. So I just want this to barely be right here. I'm gonna do that bright blue color. blue color. Let's do this again. Here. Use the other side. And then we are going to go in with this blue color right here. layers done. I think I'm going to intensify the shade above it, I think a little bit. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so let's work on the under eye. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Since I have the tape on, I think I'm going to do black eyeliner. I'm going to use my Tarte Double Take on this. So what I typically do is I'll do a base of black just right here like this. See, but when I open my eye, you won't be able to see it. You can't see it at all. So I will go in with the other side. So this is the one side. And then I'll go in with the other side that is a felt tip. And I'll do that. Let's just take the tape off and see how it looks. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Now let's work on the under eyes. Let's use this blue color here and see where it takes us. I'm gonna go in with this blue color. brush right here. We're going to go in with maybe the purple color. I just got this pretty vulgar blush in the my Lost Boxy Charm, so I'm going to use that for my cheeks. Ooh, that's bright. Mac bronzer. I don't know if I really conquered this. It definitely got me to try a different technique that I probably wouldn't have tried for this, so that's good, I guess. Let's work on the eyebrows. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Definer. I 
had a friend give me this Kylie lip kit or Kylie um, matte liquid lipstick right here. Uh, this purple color. So hopefully it goes with my look. We'll find out. Two seconds. All right, scratch that. That doesn't look good. Try this bright pink one maybe. See how that looks. One last thing, I forgot eyelashes. We, since we worked so hard on the eyeshadow, I am gonna go with um, some of these Demi 120s. I'm gonna finish this off camera and I'll be back. The power of the camera. This is my completed artistic look. I really like how this came out, how you can do the tape and it kind of gives you that really sharp edge. I really like that. So I'll definitely be keeping this tape dispenser. My makeup area. This is my finished look. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for making me step outside of my comfort zone and looking up YouTube tutorials on how to do new techniques. I'm definitely gonna try doing a cut crease with more normal colors. And I don't think the halo eye is for me. I did try it, and because I have a monolid, it just looks kind of funky on me. I did try that th earlier this week. But thank you so much, Vanessa, and if you want to see the other artistic looks in this collab, click the play link below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.